The Point of View is brought to you by Cowbell Coffee. Cowbell Coffee. Taste it. Love it. Kel Chaco Toothpaste. Kel Chaco. Happy Smile. Enterprise Life. Enterprise. Your Advantage. Bell Aqua Active. Bell Aqua Active. Stay true to originality. Welcome to The Point of View. This is your favorite current affairs show on television. On The Point of View, we get the right guests, ask them relevant questions on issues that matter to you. Well, we have a special show tonight because the Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology is celebrating its 70th anniversary. So tonight, we are dedicating the show to technocrats and their role in national development. If you went to tech from 1951 to 2020 or 2021, this is your show. We'll be speaking to some very interesting alumni to tell us what the university stands for, who are some of their prominent citizens, what have they achieved over the past 70 years, and why you have to be part of this great celebration. We'll be right back. Stay with us. And welcome back. So if you're watching and you are a proud alumnus of this university, please get in touch. Let's know your memory. Send us a WhatsApp message on the number on the screen. And if you didn't go to tech, but you just admire what they do, or you think they are making too much noise, let us hear as well. We are very happy to hear from you. Uh, tonight we'll try and be a bit historic. We'll take you to the first um, speech that was given by the Sajifo during the official unveiling of the first chancellor would we'll also speak to some of the alumni through the decades and then hopefully hear from you as well. So in studio I have uh, James Obeku. He is a member of the planning committee of the 70th anniversary, himself a, an alumnus of the school from 2004, a broadcaster and what else? A man of many parts. James, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Bernard. Is that your anniversary cloth? Definitely. Hey, Charlie, <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> I also have my own boss uh, who's the CEO of City FM City TV, Samuel Atam Mensa. He is a tech product i think you finished 91 92 not too sure samen is welcome to the show thank you is it 91 or 92 uh, 92 92 this is senegal 92 in ziginshaw that's very that's when you that, finished that, that's very true <laughs> 91 or 92 i, I remember 92. senegal 92 yeah. we lost to Cote d'Ivoire. yeah yeah we lost to Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. i'll tell you a few things yeah. about that we'll be joined by some other interesting alum alumni uh, a lady who finished in 1981 and she, she is a professor, and she's called Mrs. Professor Mrs. Ifia Opokwa. Sorry, she will join us via Zoom. Would we'll also be joined by Mrs. Antonia Banamanquist, who finished in 1988, and our own Kenashibe, who is now the CEO of the Chamber of Telecoms. He finished, I think, 93 or 94. All of them will join us uh, for tonight's program. Let me see if I have a Professor Opokwa sorry, on the Zoom. Prof, good evening. Hello, Prof. Can you hear me? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Okay, we'll, we'll talk to her soon, as well as uh, a few other alum, alumni or tech. So, let me start with Mr. Beko. So, it's 70 years. Yes. And tech is making a lot of noise. Why are you so excited about 70 years and what's happening this year? Thank you very much, Bernard, and good evening to your viewers. Um, we are very excited about 70 years of KNUST because if you trace back to how the university came into being and the several stages it's been through, um, there is every reason for us to give glory to the Almighty and celebrate our achievements. So um, from the theme of the anniversary, it sums up what we intend to do. 70 year, KNUST, 70 years of global impact, a new age for a renewed focus. So mm. 70 years, we are celebrating the totality of the achievements of the university, its alumni, all stakeholders. Then the next phase is to really take note of the challenges that confront the world, reorganize, and face the future. So Tech was founded, was it October 1951? Yes, um, that was on the 6th of October 1951. And uh, KNUSC has its roots in royalty because um, the king of uh, the Shanti region then, um, say, or say, Ajima and Prempe II, um, put a lot of pressure on the colonial government then, uh, headed by Sir Noble Aden Clark, 
to establish a university in Kumasi and for that matter, Ashanti region at all costs. So even before he muted the idea, he had made his land ready. And uh, thank God, on the 6th of October, through a government ordinance, the Kumasi College of Technology was established. And then the uh, first batch of students, 200 teacher training students from Achimota, were moved to the then Kumasi College of Technology. And the foundation staff also came from Achimota. That's how the university began. So the inauguration was done in the year 51. 51. 1951. Yes. Kwame Nkrumah was then the head prime minister. Exactly. So do we have any evidence of that? Do you have, do you have exactly. A uh, we have pictures of the foundation staff. We have pictures wow. of the foundation students. Wow. And we have a procession. Or the first procession. Uh, pr a procession. In 1951. In 1951. <laughs> and it's so funny if it's shown on the screen. But I mean. So these are, who are these people? These are the foundation staff. The foundational staff. Yes, these are the staff who came from Achimota College to okay. serve as the first batch of staff for the then Kumasi College. So the Kumasi. man in the middle will be the vice chancellor, or um, oh, no, sure. no. These are the foundational staff. Okay. Yes, administrative staff. This is the first procession. Exactly. They were then led temporarily by Lord Hemingford. So because we, we can't see him there, he can't. So he can't this is him. the procession. This is the procession. <laughs> and and the workers had no go back. Please it, take no go back. I want <laughs> I want to see that for well. So. <laughs> this is the first procession. So on the right, mm -hmm. that tower there, mm -hmm. on top of that tower is where Dr. Ephraim Amu used to drum to oh. hold the congregation. So at the inauguration, we will unveil something in his honor. So Ephraim Amu was there at the time? Yeah, exactly. That man, he was in Matimota too? Yes, yeah, so it was exactly the same time they were moved, so he was part. So he was one of the foundational staff. staff yes. Because you know, I did a tour in Ifumamu <laughs> from uh, Presbyterian Training College to Achimota to Tech. Wow. So this is the same procession. So the gentleman in front is who? Um, you are saying Lord Hemingford. Lord Hemingford, temporarily. Temporarily. Yeah, because later, uh, in within a, month, a couple of months, he was replaced by Dr. Dun um, J.P. Andrews. If I go to Tech, will I see this road? The road is there. Which road is this? Um, this is the road. Right opposite the Center for Cultural and African Studies. Okay. So it takes you... the BRI? No. Okay. So it takes you straight to uh, the former College of Arts. Yeah. Uh, on the way towards the commercial area. Exactly. Okay, okay so you know this place, Amin? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. I think the buildings have changed now. But what I see to the right looks like a building that was there for a very long time. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is towards the rural arts. Exactly. Where, wh 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 the place that used to be rural arts. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So those of us who don't know tech well, we can't find this place. I mean, I know Jackson Park. <laughs> In tech? <laughs> no, I know, no, not Jackson Park. Uh, Pajo Park. Pajo, Pajo, Pajo Stadium. Pajo, Pajo Stadium. <laughs> and then I know Katanga. Mm -hmm. And then I know Independence Hall. <laughs> and then a few other places. So let's go on. Which other pictures do you have? So all this is 51. Exactly. 1951. Then so this is. is six years for independence. Mm -hmm. Is this the administration block? No, this is the Great Hall. Oh, the Great Hall. And, no, and this was take, when... Take your time. This was Where when... Guys, we're controlling the pictures. We are not, we are not in a race. I beg you. <laughs> take your time. We want to explain the pictures properly. So this is 1950. No, this e is... Earlier in there. This um, uh, in the 60s. Because the 60s. then the university had become a full-fledged university. So this is the Great Hall. That's the Great Hall. Is it still standing there today? S standing same great strong, hall. same structure, no modification... Serving the purpose. But what, does, what do those cars tell us about year this was? Because this is like that's in 120Y. <laughs> or some, or is this looks like an old... Uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't earlier. come out so clear. Earlier. Way Fire. earlier than the Datsun. Oh, even before the Datsun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. see let, me show, let me see the next photo. So, where that, is this? That's the KNUSC swimming pool. Okay, uh, is this part of your sports complex or where, where is it? No, the swimming pool it's on is, its own. is on, it's on its, its own. own. Yes, um, towards the main gate. Okay, the main yeah. entrance, mm -hmm. the main gate. Yeah, and it's still there like this. Still there yeah. like this. Olympic wow. size swimming pool. Did you ever swim there? Not at all. <laughs> you didn't swim. <laughs> <It's> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> where is this? That's the university library. Okay, I can see the KNUST logo there. So this looks like more in the 60s, 70s now. This this is more rec uh, more more recent. Yeah, so the pictures are over okay. the years. Do you have come in Chromer's first inauguration speech? I want to hear it. We have part of it, a minute of it. A minute of it, because I have the full text. But I want if you can just 
take me to that speech before we even talk to the alumni. It is a little more than 10 years ago that the decision was taken to establish in Kumasi a college for the purpose of providing for studies and training in research, in technology, science and art. Today, this decision has materialized in the establishment of this magnificent university in the heart of the city of Kumasi, the city of Osetutu and the Golden Stool, the capital and the historical city of Ashanti. This university, therefore, has a unique opportunity for making a positive contribution to the development of Ghana by directing its attention not only to the production of graduates in engineering, architecture, building and town planning, but also by addressing itself to the investigation and research and into the problems of industrialization and agricultural development. Okay, I was actually hoping to see Nkrumah talking, but it looks like this is just the audio. No, it's the audio. So when was this? So this was uh, at the inauguration of the full-fledged Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in 1961. That's how come in the beginning of his statement, or this particular voice, he said, it is a little over 10 years ago when, so he was referring to 51 when it was Kumasi College of Technology, 10 years after, then it became a full-fledged university, which then he was a... Uh, Inaugurating. I see. So that's a, a short um, brief. Do you know the name of some of the foundational staff? Who was the first VC? Who were some of the key? We showed us a picture earlier on. Can we? Are there any names of repute who started? Because I know RP Balfour. Yes. So when it became a university, um, Honorable Fritz Balfour was that uh, Dr. RP Balfour well, became the first vice chancellor. And uh, with this, um, I think the first registrar was uh, Obese Jekti. From a, a pre-day. Obisijecti. Obisijecti. So they work together. So this RP Bafo. This RP Bafo. Chris Bafo, was, was, what was he? Was he a doctor? He was an engineer. He was an engineer. Okay. When did Ivan Samfum come? Because I remember in his book, he also wrote about how he started the medical school. Or he was part of the team that started the medical school. Or that was much later. No, Ivan Samfum came immediately after, after RP Bafo. He was the second vice chancellor. Exactly. I see. So in this picture are the foundational staff. That was in 51, when it, it was Kumasi College of Technology. So now we've bypassed this era, and we are in the university stage after Nkrumah's book. But why are their trousers so big? <laughs> <laughs> Am I not big? <laughs> no, Charlie, the trousers, you know. This was before Tunab. Nah, this was before Tunab. So yeah. <laughs> Wait a man, he has, he has done a boy, the guy on the right. Yeah. <laughs> A boy. Yeah, a boy, yeah. <laughs> a boy. No, tech is big, It's Charlie. called half bow. Half bow. Yes, yeah, so can I see the foundational <laughs> students now? It's a half bow. Yeah. So this is the first group with Hemingway in there. So this is 200 students. Yes, uh, I'm not sure all of them were in this picture. Okay. Now, if you look at the extreme left of this picture, mm -hmm. you see the gentleman in the dark suit. He's got Achimota... Um, Extreme crest. left. Crest. That's coming, Kroma. No, on our oh. extreme left, uh, oh. we are watching the screen. Okay. So on your extreme left, what the gentleman carefully on his breast pocket, yeah, 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 he's got yeah. Achimota. Yeah, Achimota. Yeah. Exactly. So that gives you the reason. That so these are people who were trained in Achimota College. Yes. Who came to start KNUST. Exactly. They were teaching uh, teacher trainee students at Achimota College. And they were brought to start KNUST. KNUST. But yeah. I see older people in there. So they are presumably lecturers. Probably. And then there are students involved, exactly. all in Thai. But only one person, but uh, Otufo will not be happy because only one person is in cloth. Honestly, he gave you land, he told you to do an investment, <laughs> then you all going to wear suit. I mean, what is this? I mean, I mean, only one man is wearing cloth in the whole picture. It was just to conform to the script at the time. Oh, Lord, I'm <laughs> it. it was Western education. Amazing stuff. <laughs> so, what text says 70 years of global impact. Uh, what, what does that mean? Who, what, what global impact has tech made? Well, in various disciplines, um, at um, areas that you can pinpoint at, we've had alumni of the university leaving giant footprints there. For example, in global politics, um, what is the name? Dr. Uh, the UN Secretary General. Dr. Kofi Annan. Kofi Annan. He's an uh, alumnus. Uh, did he go to tech or became a chancellor of tech? No, no he, no, he, he attended tech. tech. Oh, he went to tech? Yes. So he means he lived in Kumasi? I can't really Kumasi, yeah, Kuvianan is a Kumasi person. Well, he went to tech. 
I thought he became chancellor rather. No, 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 no. no he was no. never chancellor. No, no. So in different areas, in the area of medicine, in the area of uh, pharmacy, in the area of engineering, with Professor F.K. Alute, um, the Alute constant is also a product of tech. So all we are saying is that for the global impact we've made in the various disciplines, mm. we are ready to celebrate it. I'll give years. you time to mention alumni name because <laughs> I want to do Legon versus Tech, giddy giddy cra. But let me greet a few people on Zoom and I'll come back to some. So Ken Ashikbe is the CEO of the Chamber of Telecommunications, he's a product of tech, and he is a media and he does a lot of things. Engineer Ken Ashikbe. Uh, Engineer Ken, thanks for joining us. Good evening. Thank you very much. Um, uh, um, Bernard, this is not about <laughs> any comparison. What was celebrating engineering, was celebrating tech. Please, today, take off your big on heart and let's celebrate <laughs> global impact, and refocusing on the problems of the future. <laughs> when did you finish tech, by the way? I think 96. You see, we, we, we should have finished tech in 95, but in Ghana, nobody finished the uh, public university in 95. So we finished in 96 because of all the Alutas and all of that. <laughs> I hope you're not one of the leaders of the Aluta. <laughs> oh, well, they'll tell you that when I was back in school, I was deeply involved in university politics. So the Aluta at that period, we well, were deeply involved in it. Uh, from first year all the way to the final year, I, I found myself involved in, mm. in student politics. And the Aluta there, that 95 Aluta, I, unfortunately, I would not answer the way you wanted it to be answered. I was really part of it. <laughs> I see. So you, you are, you are a, a key part of the, the Primo Brower the Primo Brower struggle people. Let me greet, yes. uh, let me greet Antonia Banaman Quist. She's a deputy director of Lekma Hospital. Just to clarify when she finished tech and also make sure she's on. Madam, good evening. Good evening, Ben. Thanks for joining us. How are you doing? I'm good. And you? I'm very well, thank you. So when did you attend tech and finish? So I started in 1982. I should have finished in 1986. But after the first semester, first year, we were sent home for a year because of Alu oh. Aluta. Say Maluta. So... I completed in 1987. So, 1986. so you so you had a looter in the 80s too? <laughs> yes, we did. So yes, we did. Was it a one year one a looter or what? <laughs> hey, 80... We were sent home for a year. A whole year. <laughs> it wasn't easy. A whole year we sat home. Wow. Do you remember what Waiting you were? Do you remember what you were looting about? <laughs> Honestly. I can't even remember. <laughs> what did you study? so long ago. What did you study at tech? Pharmacy. Pharmacy, I see. Bachelor of Pharmacy, yes. I see. So in 82, when you, how did you end up at tech? Did your parents ask you to go there or you knew that tech was... How did you end up at tech in 82? Okay, so I wanted to read pharmacy. And that time, there was only one pharmacy school in the whole of Ghana, University of Science and Technology then. So that's how I ended there. I see. That's how come I ended there. I'll come to your experience shortly. I just want to just be sure of everybody. So let me come to Samen's studio. Meanwhile, what are we? What, what is this? Wow. Oh, this is tech now. Yes. Oh wow! So the bushes behind the is this all part of your land? Yeah, it's all part. Wow! This is tech. No, I think this is um, oh, part this of is... a DRC. So te the, tech yeah. and its neighbors. I think there's yes sur surrounding communities. So this is today. Today's. These yeah. are the surrounding communities. What are the communities around tech for those of us who don't know Kumasi well? Um, Eija, Bomso, Koti, Bwedi, Emena, Jinyase, Aidiase. Mm. Aidiase. Plenty like that. Yes, about 20, yeah, 16 small. to 20 of them. So which one is Kenting Krono? Kenting <laughs> uh, Krono is quite away, it's far and, away. Uh, uh, not so far away, but on the other side. Uh, across the across road. Across the road. Okay. I need to tell you this. For me, the first time I went to Kumasi, when you took the STC, they'll tell you that when you get to tech, you've reached Kumasi. And the STC station was opposite tech. So when you get down from the STC station before you do what you do. So these are the hostels, right? Okay, good. Yeah, so I see them clearly now. These are the numerous hostels that, that have hostels. sprung up private around. around as a result of the, the impact uh, or the business KNUC has generated for them. So is this a walking distance or you need to take a vehicle to... to uh, no, it's a walking distance because I see the petroleum building. So there. the campus so, is behind? Yes, in exactly. The, in the film we exactly. saw. Exactly. So this is uh, one overhead okay. shot. Samuels is my MD, my CEO. When did you go to tech? 88. 1988? Yes, 88, 89. So it means when Antonia 89. finished 86, two yeah. years later. I said, why did you go to tech? 
Um, you know, because I was a science student and, um, you know, typically all science students would be targeting engineering or mm -hmm. something within that space. And, you know, initially I wanted to do pharmacy. And um, mm. so I was playing around with, with the idea of being a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. uh, but I ended up doing computer science because, again, computer science was gaining grounds at the time. And I thought that, well, with mathematics, why not? And so I, I ended up doing in the Faculty of Science and then Computer Science. So uh, was it what you expected when you got there? What, what type of place? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, for me, my whole tech thing has been from childhood. Oh, um, oh okay. My, my idea of university education was just the images of tech. Really? And I wouldn't exchange that for anything. You know, I, I started primary school in, 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 in Kumasi. I went to um, Inshiasu International School, went to um, State Experimental School. And, and so growing up, you tech know, was the, in tech your was head. It. That's where you have to and, end up. And, okay. and, you know, my mother was a nurse and had some stint with the, the KNUSC, the hospital. Oh. And so seeing, walking through the campus, and the tall buildings. I, I kept the image of tech till I, I was due to go to university. And so when it was time to go to university, I got laid on to do sciences and, and then I got tech to do you know something you else and I quickly ran away from Legon <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> I, I will I will take a short break. When I come back I will go through the years of tech because my first guest finished tech in eighty one. The second one finished in eighty six because of a strike. The third is Samens, it finished in 90, 92. 92. The fourth is Ken, it finished in 96, also yeah. because of strike, and you finished in yeah. 2004. So we have four decades. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't have any strike. You didn't, you didn't have strike in your group? No, we had, but we managed it. <laughs> we managed to finish. <laughs> we managed to finish. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take a short break. If you went to tech, let me know your experiences in the university, <laughs> what you like about the place, and what, where tech stands. And of course, on Wednesday, they're all going to launch the Big 70. We'll go and support them. But we want to understand the evolution of tech from the 70s into the 80s into the, the present years. This is the point of view. It's a special edition on the Kwam Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, founded in 1951. Stay with us. Plus is a fully skimmed evaporated milk. Creamy Plus is available in a shop near you. This message has been vetted and approved by the FDA. to have enterprise life in your corner. They give solutions that make life easy every day. So now, I can focus on my dreams. Miss Moko to come with Tibia. Enterprise life, what wants to share more? I don't know. Yeah, who do you? Move. Hey. I shall come. I shall come, bro. We've got life. Dream big. Go on and dream big with us. Dream big with us. Enterprise, your advantage. <laughs> so, it's just the two of us. Can't beat this. Beat this? Oh, hey. You can't beat the Champions League. Europa League. La Liga. Serie A. And, and the Premier League. League. All 380 matches of it. With its own dedicated super sport channel, Maji. Get a HD decoder, dish kit, and one month of DSTV access for only 169 Ghanaian CDs.
It pays to stay original. Choose Bell Aqua Active and stay true to originality. Try it. This investment has been vested and approved by the FDA. Welcome back. Tonight, we're celebrating KNUST, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, an amazing uh, university that has produced some of the most illustrious sons and daughters of Ghana in various fields. And today is the day before their massive launch on Wednesday. Today is Monday, actually. So on Wednesday, they are launching the 70th anniversary at Kumasi. I have uh, alumni through the years. I have Professor Efia Opokwasari. She finished tech the year I was born, 1981. <laughs> and uh, I'll be joining, I'm trying to, I'm having some challenges with the connection. I also have uh, pharmacist Antonia banaman Quist. She's the deputy director of Lekma Hospital. She finished tech in 87. She was well finished in 86, but because of Aluta. I also have uh, Mr. Samuel Atamensa, who's the CEO of City FM, City TV. He finished in 92. There was no Aluta. Oh, there was a loot, of course. But he finished in the year he was supposed to have finished. But we managed it better. Man I'll come to that issue. <laughs> Can I say we finished in 96 because of a loot. He should have finished in 95. And then uh, James Obeck, who's the secretary of the 70th Anniversary Planning Committee, finished in 2004. Let me read a quick message. I got Professor John Japong, who is the um, vice chancellor of the University of Health and Allied Sciences. He says, Bernard, I was at KU University from 1980 to 87. So that's seven years. I think it's medicine. Medicine, yeah, SMS. Including one year break to carry cocoa in the revolution era. I was just here president of Republic Hall. That's not your hall. You are Queens. We're, we're next door. Next door. Republic Hall. Yeah, Akoko Report. Is that Ken's Hall? No, Ken was with me. Queens? Yes. And you were where? Yes. Katanga. Katanga, University Hall. So Queen, he was just president of Republic Hall from 81 to 83. Mm -hmm. The cockerel in front of Republic Hall was placed there during your, his presidency. Yeah. No, Japan, you're a big man. Four more for Japan. <laughs> it's funny because Lagos Hall to have a cockerel. Yeah. Uh, re actually, you know something? Republic Hall, Ogua Hall, Legon Hall have role games. Mm -hmm. So I think we are the first halls. Yeah. And I think there's Kuva games. I must say, at that time, Republic Hall was very boring. Oh, it's not true. <laughs> at that time. But later, they became the, you know, go-to place. I think you're a Republic uh, Hall. I'm report. I'm a cherry <laughs> 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 so that was Rogan. Okay, let me talk to Afamas Antonia a, a, a bit more. Uh, Madam, thanks for joining us again. So you went in 82, you finished yeah. in 86. What type of... 87. I finished in 87. Okay. Can, instead of 86. Fantastic. Can you describe life at tech in your, in your years? Hmm. Well, I remember very well when we started... Um, we were given 42 CDs a day, uh, uh, 46 CDs a week for, uh, um, for uh, corns to food. Lunch was, lunch was, um, breakfast was one CD, 20 pesos. Lunch was two CDs, 40 pesos. And supper was two CDs, 40 pesos. So, you know, it was six CDs a day. And we we're given the money every week, 42 CDs. By the university? By the, yes, yes. By so the, the university was feeding you breakfast, lunch, and supper? Yes, yes. Huh. What food was it? <laughs> that was a good, a good old days. Honestly, I can't even remember now. But it must, it, it must have been good. <laughs> but yeah, it was, yeah, it wasn't bad. It was good. It was wow. Good. What hall were you in? Africa? Queens. Oh, you were in Queens no, Hall? the only mix hall. Yes, I was. Thank so, you. So we have three Queens Hall people on the show today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting. It's not fair at all. <laughs> <laughs> and how many women were in the pharmacy class in the 80s? Wow, in my class, I think we were about eight or nine ladies. We started as a class of 40, but by the time we were graduating, we were 36 in number. Elimination Four by left, rough that is. You know, 
you know, when we sat home for a year, some people found their own level. People travel, people change. Yeah. So, so eight women out of 40. It means you were highly prized. I think eight or nine. Highly yeah. prized possessions in those days. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember any of your mates and your lecturers or in that that you anybody prominent or anybody within your cohort that you 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 remember fondly? My mates, yes. yes. Um, Dr. Ma Martha Jansal Lutrot okay. was my mate. Professor Charles Ansa was my mate. Wow. Um, yeah, Professor Francis Dakwa. I mean, um, who are there? Yeah, well, <laughs> well, there. Yeah, um, let me see. You want me to mention my classmates? All of them. No, just the, right. What the, the ones who you think should be mentioned? But I'm sure some <laughs> don't need to be mentioned. <laughs> hey, I don't want to be in trouble. <laughs> you are, you are already in trouble. <laughs> I, I know I'm already in trouble, but in trouble. yeah. I see. I see. What about your lecturers? Which of them do you fondly remember? Who was your, your favorite lecturer in those days? Hmm. I remember Professor Mwachi Adam. He was very strict back in the day. Mm -hmm. I remember Prof. Sakifu, Prof. Um, um, Professor... Kwame Sapon. Hmm. Kwame Sapon. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, from yeah. But how come yeah. Samens knows? Samens didn't do pharmacy. Why is he mentioning these both names? I wonder. You better ask him. Why, why are you? How do you know these people? You are, you went in 88. She flees in 86. And you are mentioning all these both names. No worry. You know everybody. Oh, I don't. I don't know everybody. I mean, I, I host footprints. Oh, you were doing journalism in those days too. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so let me talk. I saying I, I, I graduated in 86. It was 87. No, no because the year you were supposed to graduate was 86. Yeah. It was Aluta yeah. that took it yeah. to 87. Yeah. So, you were pre so I'm just clarifying that. Let me talk to Professor okay. Opokwa Sari. And I understand it's, it's raining quite a lot where she is. So we are not able to connect with her on the internet. So I'll call her on the phone. Prof, thank you for joining us. Good, good evening. Uh, good evening. If you can hear me. Loud and clear. Thank you for persisting on the line. We've been struggling. <laughs> Th thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's okay, do it. You finished in 1981. That's the year I was born. Oh, really? I'm telling you. Fantastic. So it means yeah. you went which year? Um, I know it was in 1982. Okay. It was in 1982. That's when I finished my first degree. And I did art. What year? And I graduated art. I see. And I graduated in ceramics. So you went in 77? I went in 1976. I did the A level. That was the pre degree for two years. I see. Sixth form. That was the sixth form. So when. Those days was O level. I, we, we went to university and that's where we did our A level, the advanced level. And I did it in arts and economics. Wow. How? After 1979, when I, I started the degree program. So it, it means when you were in university, Achampon was president, Akufu took over, and Rollins came all exactly. before you finished. All of them, yeah. Yeah. Did you understand what was yeah. going on in those years? Of course. Exactly. I was, I was grown enough. I already had gone to Wesley College and trained as a teacher. And so I came in as a mature student. So I knew what was going on. How many ladies were in your class? Uh, we were seven. And the class was 54, 5 four. And we were considered the largest art class. And there were seven ladies? A, a seven, yes. Wow. Do you remember some of their names? I remember everybody on my team. Can you mention um, one or two? Doctor Susan Betty, Susan Ayi, Susan Betty of the Methodist University. And she, she was my mate. Uh, Professor Alaji Salika was my mate. He was, um, and a few few years back, he was rector uh, of Kamale Sen Polytechnic, and then he came to uh, Kumasi Te uh, Technical University. He was my mate. Um, Nana Sambia 
and he was he was our cartoonist. He's now the controller of I think Gobodia, uh or my name Kosohini. And there are there are there are several of them. He was a great cartoonist. Wow. And uh, yeah, I remember um, um, one of our finest teachers was Mr. K. J. De Graf Johnson. Wow. De Graf Johnson, fantastic graphic designer. And um, Mr. Mon Pafu was our senior. Fantastic wow. guy. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So these days, what do you teach at K. University? I teach education. I did a uh, master's in art education, and that was the that's the program that actually the 200 teacher trainees that came to uh, Kumasi College of Technology um, were doing, and that's the postgraduate program um, that actually gave the art a graduate opportunity to get a training in teaching to go out and teach in the middle schools and, and secondary schools and then to get any colleges. And so I I did art education. And then I went to UK to do a, another master of philosophy in general education and I specialized in early grade primary education. And so that's the course I've been teaching. Uh, principles and practice of education. And I also teach curriculum uh, research and development. And I teach research methods. So these are the key uh, courses. And very recently, I also am teaching uh, pre-tertiary education management. And so these mm. are the sort of things that are keeping me busy very year. As they say in Accra, you do all. You do all. Thank you. You do all. Let me. I will see you on Wednesday for the lunch. Samens will be there. Let, let me talk to Ken briefly before I come to Samens since he's on the Zoom. So, Ken, you were, in, you were in tech between 92 and 96. Um, you were in Queen's Hall, I believe. What, what did you study? I, was, I, was in, I, I went in to study mechanical engineering first year. Then second year, I moved to electrical engineering. So I majored in telecommunications engineering in KNUST. Samens tells me you were... in 91. He, said, he says you were a shark. 91. He said, Samen oh, said, well, I'm not, he says you were a shark. Too sure. too? I'm not too sure I was a shark, but I, was, I, I, I got myself involved in virtually everything, uh, from students' politics to academia. I was, interestingly, I was supposed to be in uh, Katanga Hall, and officially that's my hall, uh, but Queen's Hall also needed somebody to head the cadet. And one of my senior seniors I saw was then a commander. So I came when I was not getting a room in uh, University Hall. I came to Queen's Hall uh, as cadet commander and then became the hall president on the second try. I lost the first time, became judicial committee chairperson for <laughs> SRC. And then in the final year, became hall president of Queen's Hall. Who were some of your mates in those years, 91, 92, 93? Oh, a lot of them. Interesting. My class, I'm sure, very vibrant engineering class. We have uh, Aya Tego, who was a global CTO for Tigo. Um, the Comsys uh, chief executive, um, J Jonathan Lamte. He was a first degree student, but very entrepreneurial. Uh, also, William Sam, uh, Ama Enin. Uh, Upper Jackson, um, the, the um, general manager, the operations, he saw the picture of the launch of Pukwase uh, by the president. The director of operations of ECG uh, is also uh, my mate. Uh, so we had a very, very vibrant class, and our lecturers, Dr. Otre, Dr. Annan, uh, mm. Dr. Nipa, mm. you know, we had some really interesting teachers. At the time, I remember also we had a teacher who taught us technical uh, drawing. He was the one who would always damage your your your, uh, your 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 great points. You know, he would tell you that he, if you don't, he would bring your great points down. We had some very very interesting teachers mm. uh, back back at school. 
they were involved in industry as well as teaching us. So the electrical engineering class was very, very interesting. Mm. I didn't ask Prof what hall she was in. I think that would have been good because it looks like I've packed the show with Queen's Hall people. Uh, Prof, yeah, I've totally I'm talking from the Royal Hall, Queen Elizabeth II oh. Hall. <laughs> And a year later, we were moved to Africa Hall. So I lived through my uh, undergraduate and postgraduate days in Africa Hall. I still belong to Queen's Hall. The, the independence and the unity people are not happy with me because on the show I have four people who were in Queen's Hall. <laughs> Which is not fair, but it was not my design. It was the design of the Katanga Man City in the middle here. <laughs> and there was a, there's a reason, actually. What's the reason? Thing is, four queens all put together is just half of Katanga. Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, amazing. amazing. But I just want to know something. In the halls, are there like reputations? You know, in Legon, they say if you are from this hall, you are this. You are that. Is there anything like that at Tech? Where if you go to this hall, it means. Dadaba, if you go to this hall, you are hardcore. And I think Kenna Shibbe can address that better. <laughs> Ken, please, they say you address that issue. <laughs> well, you see, but you, you, you just noticed it, that it's the queens are the royals. Is it? And then, yes, yes, yes. So Katanga and uh, uh, Conti, they are the extra people, you know. They, <laughs> they like going to a Jasu and all of that, you know. <laughs> the Republic. The report boys, they thought they, in our time, they, they, they wanted to be gentlemen. So George and I and, and his group, you know, the Indies people, they are some kind of gentlemen, some different kind of gentlemen. And then, you know, Africa Hall, well, they are the women mm -hmm. as well. The queens in, the ladies in Queens Hall, well, you know, we were royal, you know, that's, and we're almost in the center of the university as well. And we had the blend of, you know, being hard and being soft at the same time. That's very interesting. So I'll take a short break. Queen's Hall reminds me of Saba Hall, Mensa Saba Hall in Legon Hall. And Republic Hall reminds me of Legon Hall, but maybe I'm just mistaken. Uh, we're still talking tech. We'll look at the program of activities for the anniversary. We'll take Samens' own experiences and of course you 2004 and what is happening at tech today if you're an alumnus of the school i'll be happy to hear from you we're celebrating tech at 70 stay with us Different era, better result. Time has changed and time has brought Cal Chocolate Toothpaste, healthy gums, anti cavity, fresher breath, and it whitens teeth. Kale chocolate toothpaste. Sankofa. Yenchi. Kale chocolate toothpaste. Happy smile. Brand new shows are blossoming on GoTV this spring. Love certainly proves itself strange on Starlight. Don't leave me, please. While Mariam uncovers a truth about her past that'll change her future. Then climb the corporate ladder with real estate tycoons on SeaWorld. You are an exception. Always remember that. And on Telemundo, Lolly takes custody of her late best friend's two children. Get and stay connected to GoTV for world-class entertainment every single day. GoTV. Love it. Welcome back. We're celebrating KN University 70 years of excellence, global impact, and building the country. My friends from Texas, they did build the country, and then we really people come and chop their money. <laughs> but I don't believe in that. Let me show you the list of principals and VCs. So, as he said, Tech started in 51, 52. So, we have JP Andrews, 
first three years when it was not yet a university fully fledged. That's right. Then W. E. Duncanson, fifty four to sixty. Then Dr. Happy Baffour, whose first bar was father an engineer, sixty one, sixty two. Then when it became the university, he was the first VC as well. Dr. Happy Baffour, sixty one to sixty seven. So he's almost co terminus with Nkrumah. Then after the overthrow, Ivan Sam from sixty seven to seventy three. Ivan Sam was a doctor. He set up the medical school. Then after Ivan Sam from there's Bamfo Kwachi, seventy four to eighty two. So that's eight solid years, seventy four to eighty two. So I think when uh, Professor uh, Ifi Apokwasari was there, her VC was Bamfo Kwachi. Then Professor F O Kwame, eighty four to ninety two. Again another eight solid years. So sometimes you met F O Kwame. Yeah. You met F O Kwame. What was he like? Perfect gentleman. Wow. Perfect, perfect gentleman. Perfect gentleman by all standards. Wow. So 84 to... This is difficult years in Ghana. 84 yeah. to 92. Yeah. Then E.H. E. Amonu Neza, 92 to 97. Mm -hmm. And then this is where before the cost sharing issues started coming up. Then um, Professor A.K. Tuya was acting just two years, 97 to 99. Then you had Professor J.S.K. Ayim, also three years, 99 to 2002. And then this man, I remember a lot, Professor K. Andam, I interviewed him on radio. I think he, he introduced aeronautic something. Engineering. And engineering. Andam, 2002-2006. Really erudite man. Professor K. K. Adakwa, 2006-2010. Professor W. O. Ellis, that's Ellis O2, 2010-2016. And then we have Obri Danso. 2016 to 2020. 2020. And now, Professor Mrs. Rita Akusia-Dixon, the first female vice-chancellor. The first female vice-chancellor, yeah. Akusia-Dixon. Let's talk about the program before we go back to experience. Just quickly, what are we doing? What, what are you doing for the Okay, celebration? so we launch on Wednesday, 27th mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. in the Great Hall. Mm -hmm. Then, um, we, like we said, we want to celebrate our alumni. So we've lined them up on uh, personality profile interviews across TV stations. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to say Footprint has lined up some greats to interview. And the mm -hmm. focus of those interviews will be on their experiences and how that came to tell Amen. on who they are. Uh, we also have the RP Bar 4 lecture as nice. part of the program. Um, we are writing a comprehensive book about the university. Wow. To be um, um, outdoored. When Proper the, historical material. Uh, everything oh, coming. Man, that would be awesome. The, exactly. And um, we'll, we're looking at an uh, alumni impact at your doorstep. We are looking at 70 at 70. All alumni, we are calling on them. Any amount that starts from 70 onwards, so 70, 700, 7,000, 7, 7, 7, 7 million, everything. Yeah. You, 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 our doors are open, and then we put all these together to I help see. those who need to help. So you are going to record interviews with some alumni yeah. for your show. Yeah. Do you know who you are interviewing? Um, James is in a better uh, place. Oh, he's going to put them together. Okay. <laughs> yeah, James is just want to go back to, I'm just trying to fill the picture. So you were there in 88 to 90. So I actually entered the 88, 89 academic. I okay. think we entered 89. Yeah. Who are some of your, your mates? Whew. That's difficult to, to mention. Um, <laughs> I mean, I can talk about um, the people who were there within my period. Yes, you not know. necessarily your mates. Yeah, your I mean, Carlos Ahinkra was... Oh, was, King Kalu. Yeah. He was a tech. Yes, Carlos Ahinkra oh, What was, did he study there? Um, <laughs> Agric science. Oh, okay. Agric science. Okay. Was he uh, in your hall? Yes, Queen's Oh, hall. he was in your hall too? Yes, yes, yes. Very, because when he took the ballot, he was running. <laughs> 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 did he learn that to a tech? No, the way he runs, please. And Muntaka chased him. No, you know, Carlos... Muntaka too went to tech. <laughs> he too went to tech. That, yeah. that was many years after uh, we had okay. left. But Carlos was a big boy in tech. I mean, oh, he yes. had his own money and... And oh, he, really? at that car at that time it was it was rare for students to own cars. He had his own car. Oh yeah, I mean tell my boy that was a clearly <laughs> freight forward that before he came to tech. So you know Who uh, else was, was Napo. There? Oh, Minister of Energy. Yeah, Napo, Napo. Your uh, your same group? Napo, yeah. He yeah, did surgery. Same, yeah, yeah. He he did medicine. Yeah, he wow, did medicine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um okay. Napo was there. What hall was he in? Napo was in Republic Hall. Was he a student leader? Yes, he was a local Nooks president. <laughs> what about who else? Who else do you remember? Um, Georgianda, of course. Georgianda was there. Georgianda was there. Okay. Um, um, your man, crazy. Yansanku. 
uh, Yao and Sapo. Yao and Sapo and, and, and Eric and Sapo of MTN. They were both at the same... Yeah. Uh, I hear Adai Nimo was also your mate. Nimo, Nimo too was our mate. Nimo, but, you know, uh, there's a story to that. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was our SRC president. Adai Nimo was your SRC president? Yes, he was at some point, but we fought him out of the place. You and Napo? <laughs> Well, Napo was on my side, but quietly. <laughs> so you, you fought against Adani Mu? Oh, yes, brutally. I, I mean, see. we fought him brutally to the extent that he was rusticated for one year. <laughs> oh, yeah, we pursued him out of the school, man. So the Aluta happened in the, your period as well as Aluta? Oh, yes, time. yes, yes. But as I said, we managed it well. I see. What about <laughs> Dr. Kaminta Baizi? Kaminta was also a mate. I mean... Look, I say, I've, I've always said that you have Larry Atipo mm -hmm. on one side, uh, you have Kaminta Beizi, one of the most brilliant students that wow. we had on Tech Campus wow. um, at the time. I don't know about now. Kaminta, sorry, I don't know about now. <laughs> <laughs> I see. What about the Benito? Was he your mate? Benito Osubio was um, our mate. Um, yeah, I mean, land economy. Uh, okay. That's a deputy minister. Uh, okay. But, you know, myself and Benito have a long history. Okay. We grew up together in the same house oh, in okay. Kumasi. So, okay. so you knew uh, him before you oh, went to tech? very, very, very well. Uh, wow. And um, yeah, there's several of them. I mean, if you, if you, wow. if you give this, I keep mentioning this. Uh, and you have Suzanne. Um, Suzanne Edouard Mankwa. Edouard Mankwa is Suzanne, who used to be Suzanne Evans Kwesin. Um, she's a Noguchi. Yes, Noguchi. I think she Suzanne. used to be CPP. CPP yeah. She was also Suzanne. your mate? Yes, yeah, Suzanne what, what was a uh, pharmacy. Okay. And then there's um, there's a lady who's a minister, um, something Prempe. Frida. Uh, Frida Prempe was also in tech. She's MP uh, for Tano. Yes, yes. She Frida was also social your, your time. Yes. Okay. Um, I yeah, think plenty okay. of them. Amazing plenty of them. So let me ask all the panelists one, one final question. So I'll start with Professor Asari. What's the most important legacy of tech in your life? Professor Asari, I'll start with you. Yes. Um, fantastic memories are still have them. Uh, student days, I was in Queen's Hall, and it, it, it was a marvelous time. Uh, both males and females, we saw ourselves as brothers and sisters. Uh, we sat in the dining hall, we ate together, we started. And we still are friends. Mm. And so, um, Kenworth is an open ground for people to uh, foster great friendships. Mm. And without any acrimony, and we didn't see ourselves as this one comes from here or there or is belong to another group. Okay. We had no no affiliation to say that we were proud students of the University. All right. What about you, pharmacy, uh, Chris, Antonia? What's the most important lesson tech gave you? Um, the discipline, the discipline, and then the punctuality for classes. You dare not be late. Classes started at seven fifteen, and you had to be there by then, otherwise the door will be locked. Wow. Um, yeah, seven fifteen to when we had to trek the long walk. To Mecca. to Mecca. Back then it was called Mecca. I don't know what it's called now, but we used to trek all the way, walk, and sometimes we had to walk back there in the evenings to study. So <laughs> wow. it was quite an experience. Yeah, it was quite an experience. What about you, Engineer, yeah. Engineer Ken? What's the most important gift tech gave you? I think that, you see, tech was a complete institution. So mm -hmm. it taught you to study very hard. It taught you to play very hard. It taught you a lot of skills for life. So when we went to tech, you know, you found out that everybody, once we got to school, were in school. We stayed in school, and when we vacated, we came back home. And everybody was everybody's keeper. That's one of the things that tech gave me. And also the whole thing about engineering, your ability to be very, very analytical and be able to find solutions to problems that confront you was one of the things that tech gave me. And it's some of the things that I continue to live with. I, you mm. know, right from school, you, you know, this whole thing of putting together whole weeks and all of that. Mm. It is the things that have made me and cements what we are today, the, the roles that we are, we are able to play. And that whole complete, uh, being a complete person from your academics 
to living around people was one of the things that they gave me. I don't think any other wow. university would have been able to give that to me. And then critically was also the love of Ghana. Mm. I think tech put that into me, the love of Ghana to be able to contribute uh, to the country. I see. We are showing you some pictures of tech, social science block. Yeah, uh, that's a school, new school of nursing. New school of nursing. To be commissioned on the... On the anniversary date, period. Yeah. I like the greenery. It's, they're so green, man. It's so beautiful. Uh, Samens, I'm sure Ken, you speak, Ken speaks for you in terms of what he taught you. Very much so. Same Very thing. So. Engineering. Because computer science... Yeah, I mean, uh, we, I mean, we did mathematics together. I mean, uh, same algebra calculus together. So, sharp. but but for me, it's just the the whole thing of seven fifteen. Seven fifteen is seven fifteen. <sighs> Door is locked. Seven fifteen, <laughs> man. And you see people <laughs> running to enter <laughs> to Mecca. <laughs> seven fifteen. Yeah, yeah. You see a long trail of students running. rushing to class. because they locked the door at seven fifteen. Well, yeah, yeah. you know, it, it was it was just nice being part mm. of a thing like that. Wow. And most of us, I must say came out of school with this culture and entered into the place of work mm. with this whole thing of getting to work early and being prompt about wow. the well, for you are my mate so i'll bring you later to talk about 2004 we'll do a part we two. are modern people <laughs> yeah 2004 <laughs> university actually that's when you finished yeah that's right james obek is a hard working secretary to the knsc 17th anniversary planning committee this is a cloth i will i will wear one for for you on wednesday to identify with tech we are grateful uh samens finished in 92 can yeah. I say 96, uh, pharmacist Antonia Banaman Quist, 87, and Professor Mrs. Efia Opokua Sari, 81. It's four decades of excellence, 70 years of global impact. We celebrate Tanta Labotech, as they call it. I wish I had time to sing their school anthem, but we'll do it on a different show. We'll see you next time. You want to sing the anthem? We don't, have, we don't have instruments. <laughs> So if you want to take, be proud. Ghana Give back to, your, to. back to your country and let's build Ghana together. We'll be back on Wednesday with a point of view. Stay with us. The business dashboard is next. The Point of View is brought to you by Cowbell Coffee. Cowbell Coffee. Taste it. Love it. Kel Chaco Toothpaste. Kel Chaco. Happy Smile. Enterprise Life. Enterprise. Your Advantage. Bell Aqua Active. Bell Aqua Active. Stay true to originality.